Hello dear students, very good morning all of you. Dear, here I am going to start the next topic of your physics chapter 5 that is part 3. In the previous topic, in the last video we have seen about the refraction. What is refraction? What is the laws of refraction? Dear, as we know that refraction is the bending phenomenon of light when it enters from one medium to another medium. It means if the optical density of the medium changes, the light bends from its original path. That is called as refraction. Dear, now we are going to start the refractive index of our next topic. Okay. Dear, first of all understand what is refractive index? Refractive index is the ability of a medium to bend the light when light enters into that medium. There is a question in your mind. I am hoping so. Sir, what is the medium? Dear, understand. Medium is optical matter. Okay? Optical matter trans parent matter you may say translucent matter okay this type of matter in which light may enter that is called as what optical medium okay the medium in which light enters okay and you see the path okay for example glass water oil these are these all are the examples of medium diamond okay okay these are the examples you may say alcohol these all are the examples of medium dear okay these all are transparent medium through which light may pass okay that's why it is called as medium so what this medium do Okay, when light enters in that medium, basically this medium bend the light from its original path. Basically, light shifted. Okay, this phenomenon is called as a refraction. Why it happens in the real class in the first lecture of our video? We have understand about why it bends. It bends due to change in speed of light. Okay? Dear, understand. It is the ability of medium to bend the ray of light after refraction. Means, after refraction, when the ray of light get bends, that ability is called as refractive index of that medium. Okay? It means, as we represent refractive index by a Greek letter mu. This is what how it is read mu. Okay, it is a Greek letter mu. This is how refractive index is represented. If mu of a medium, mu means refractive index of a medium is greater, the bending of light is Okay, it means if refractive index means mu of a substance of a medium is less, the bending of light in that medium is less. For example, I am taking a medium air. Air is also medium through which light enters or light pass. Okay, and travel from one part to another part, on one point to another point. Okay, dear, so it has also ability to bend light but in comparison to air and diamond diamond bends light more than air do you understand water and air water bends light more than air okay these all are the examples okay dear so if refractive index of substance in refractive index of medium is greater it's greater if you are increasing the value of refractive index of the medium the bending of light after refraction will be more okay 
this is how I have different represented directly proportional sign. Directly proportional sign means if you are increasing one quantity, another quantity will also increase. Okay, dear. Now I'm moving to the next part. How we define refractive index? What refractive index means? What is the capability of refractive index that, that we understand? Now, what is the definition of refractive index? Okay? How we can define refractive index? Because it is a relative quantity. We, without comparing, we cannot say, okay, if I will say I am bigger than you, bigger than, then bigger than whom? It is a relative quantity. You have to give a reference. Okay, that's why it's a de definition and it is defined as in another way. Okay, refractive index is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in one medium to the speed of light in another medium. We are understand how it is defined as, for example, let's suppose that there is a two medium. Let's suppose that there is a two medium. That is medium one I have represented by M1 and another medium is what? M2. Let's suppose that it is M. Okay dear? So just a refractive index is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in one medium to the speed of light in another medium. Let's suppose that here the speed of light in medium 1 is D1. Why? The speed of light in medium 2 is V2. Let's I'm supposing that. Okay. Let us suppose this. Okay. So how we can what? And <coughs> how we can write the refractive index? Okay, just understand it. Here as I am writing it, a refractive index, refractive index is on, it is written as mu, okay dear, mu, who is making that, if light is falling in the incident ray is falling, if the incident ray is falling in medium 1, okay, we will draw a normal, if medium 2 is optically denser, okay, the light will move from its original path towards the normal. We know that. Okay, yeah. Towards the normal, the light will be bent. This is your normal. This is an incident ray, so it will become incidence angle and this will become refractive. Refractive. Or angle of refraction. Okay. So, how do we define the refractive index in two media? Just understand. Here, who is getting the light? With the medium one or medium two? Sir, medium two is getting light. Okay. That's how. Who has the ability to bend? Sir, medium two. With respect to whom? Medium one. I will write it as refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 that is medium 2 is written for it okay and then medium 1 that is equal to speed of light in medium 1 in medium 1 upon speed of light in medium Okay, so refractive index of 
मीडियम टू विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू मीडियम वन इज स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन मीडियम वन अपॉन स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन मीडियम टू यू मे ऑल्सो इट इन शॉर्ट म्यू टू वन इज इक्वल टू बी वन बी वन इज स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन मीडियम वन अपॉन बी टू स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन मीडियम टू आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इट I hope you understand it. Okay, so now I am moving to next part. Okay, dear, understand first of all. Moving to the next part, we will understand about what nature of light. When light travels in a vacuum, okay, its its speed is three into ten. Three into ten. Raised to a meter per second. This is highest speed of any particle in the universe till we know. Okay, till we know, it is the highest speed of the particles in this universe. Okay, dear, understand. It is so high speed, and as we know that white light is. consists of seven colors okay and this all seven colors when it moves in a vacuum okay they move simultaneously means all the seven color has same speed when it moves in a vacuum means if there is no medium there is vacuum space and then white light moves in the seven combination of seven colors moves with the same speed that the speed is approx or is equal to 3 into 10 10 raised to 8 meter per second dear but what happen if there is a medium if there is water air or diamond if anything would come across the path of light what happen then the speed of its Light, its circular supply. Since the speed of light is highest one, while the speed of violet is the lowest one. Okay, that's why its bending is more. The bending of violet light is very much. Okay, that's why the bending is more. Do you understand? It means that I want to say simply. the speed of light the speed of different color of light in a particular medium changes okay okay dear now i am going to another point refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum is called as absolute refractive index here we have taken two media i don't know which m1 and which m2 it means if m1 is water and if m2 is air okay let's suppose that i don't know there is a two media we can write it now but if we compare it with respect to vacuum for example i will always compare if i am running if i am an athlete okay and i am running just competing someone means what what my speed of running with respect to my what name the person who is running with me okay that's all. that's all. that's how we compare okay so refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum is called as absolute refractive index dear just understand it means if you are taking a medium water what is the refractive index of water with respect to vacuum okay it will be called as absolute refractive index of water what is the refractive index of diamond it means it is the absolute refractive index of diamond with respect to what with respect to vacuum okay so it is represented by simple mu okay the speed of light in vacuum upon the speed of light in medium means mu is general c by dc c for speed of light in vacuum and d for speed 
applied in medium, the same line will index from one medium to another medium, will its speed will change. Okay. Refractive index is the ratio, so it has no unit. Do you understand? The speed of light, the speed means yes, I need of speed. Kilometer per hour, you may have meter per second, you may have okay, meter per second, meter per second will cancel out. So the refractive index is the ratio, so it has no unit. Do you understand? Okay. The speed of light of all colors is the same in light, but in different in medium. I have made you understand. Do you understand? Air and vacuum. Since air is the most rarest density, air has the most rarest density of any particles, any substance, any matter that lies on the earth. So air has the less density, it has less optical density. And the light, as light enters in air, that is almost equal to, almost equal to the speed of light in vacuum. That's a, somewhere, somewhere, the absolute refractive index is also written as the speed of light in air upon the speed of light in medium. Because the speed of light of, in vacuum is almost equal to the speed of light in what? Any medium. I hope you understand here. Okay? So here, as refractive index depends on the color also. So that we give, we know that the white light is combination of seven colors. Okay? Seven plus. That is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Red has the highest speed. This speed is higher than anyone. Okay. Violet has lowest speed. So the bending of violet light is higher than the Read. Okay, that's why refractive index of violet light is more than the refractive index of red color of light. Do you get an idea here? Okay, in the next class, we will understand how to solve numericals on this topic. Okay, dear, bye, have a nice day, and if you have any problem, please, dear, please, it's my request. You to all, please ask. Okay, during the Google class or during the Google Meet. Okay, bye.